go on to the last uh, apa ni SLS scenario okay let's change that Okay, alright. So since now, 50 year old man comes into you with complaints of palpitations. Okay? So hello sir, may I know what's your name? My name is Ahmad. What brought you to hospital today? Or oh, have palpitations. Okay. So I need my team here, I need my defeat machine, I need my research roll. Okay, everyone is here. Okay, Mr. Ahmad. Okay, I'll turn on my machine. Manual mode, confirm, lead to. Okay? Mr. Ahmad, I need to open up your shirt to check your chest. Okay? In the meantime, can you tell me whether you have any chest pain? Uh, yes. Do you have any difficulty in bleeding? Yes. I can yes, yes. Sorry, I always forget to auscult it, so make sure you auscult it your lungs for complications as well. I'm holding on to the patient's peripheries, are the contrary form of hope, katalah hope, checking for the pulse volume, pulse volume is fever, checking for the cap refill is 3 seconds, okay? And I have A, uh, full diagnosis, unstable, 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 if you notice in ACNS, they don't really care whether you can say whether it's second degree type 2 or second degree type 1 or whatever. And somehow you can see that it's unstable, very cardiac, that's good enough. Because at the end of the day, your management is going to be the same no matter what. Mm. Having said that, of course, in a proper SLS kind of uh, assessment, if you can see that this is unstable, third degree heart block, rounding points for you. But if you can't, then it's okay. Don't worry at all. Okay? Kata like I want to keep on to just say uh, unstable, third degree heart block, boleh? Because this is an unstable, third degree heart block. Mm -hmm. So what's my plan? Some of all therapy. Okay, what kind of pharmacotherapy do you want to do? Okay, okay. Alright. So you have to talk to Mr. Ahmad lah, obviously. So Mr. Ahmad, what is happening now is your heart is very slow. It's causing your blood pressure to be very low as well. We need to give you a special medication. Do you have any allergies? No. Okay. Alright. So, you said Branula, take bloods for? Heart and sun, electrolytes and blood gases. Okay, alright. And then give atropine. Okay, so how is the dose of atropine like? 0.5 Okay. So in your exams or in your whatever scenario that you give, we just throw bagi tahu that because we want to get it clear out of your mind. So throw bagi. When you give zero point five milligrams of atropine, repeat every three minutes up to a maximum of three milligrams. So now we get that settled. But now tunggu. We give atropine zero point five and then we wait. And then you give another three point five. That's a waste of time. Okay. So just tell that because we want to know what your thought process is. Usually by the first or second dose, you can already know whether you require some help with the machine or uh, apa ni, uh, what do you call that, uh, pharmacotherapy, okay? Alright, so you uh, say for example, it didn't work, you still like that, so you have, you have two options, right? Yes. One is your? Uh, dopamine. Your chemical baser or the other one is your? TCP. Uh, electrical pacer. So you have either electrical pacer or chemical pacer. So chemical pacer is in the form of infusion of dopamine or dopamine. No, adrenaline. Okay. Or apni uh, and then the other the other form is your yeah, electrical pacer. Okay. So uh, for for because your chemical pacer is boring, we we'll just talk about electrical <laughs> pacer. Okay. So we have your pacer packs here. All right. So these are actually pediatric pacer packs, but we'll just use it for this patient anyway. Okay, so as you can see here, for because it's pediatrics, so usually, sorry, I, I didn't mean to jump out on you. Okay. <laughs> so uh, it's supposed to be, oh, this one is someone who told you about Okay, I put this one up. Okay, so uh, for pediatrics, you see, it's one is front and one is back. But for adults, oh. you just use it as like how you put your your uh, pet. Okay, so what you're gonna do is obviously talk to me. Is that right? Uh, your heart rate is still very low and your pressure is still very low as well despite the fact that we gave medications for you so we need to give you some specialized energy we didn't just tell him the same thing specialized energy is going to cause pain but we give you sedation and pain killer okay so again order whatever you need to order okay and then you're going to put the pads okay so whatever is supposed to be front is actually at here lah okay at your apex not at the bersi I don't know for bersi or your patients lah okay and then this one here okay so you haven't started yet, so Mr. Park should not feel as much of a pain yet. Okay, then you will take out this from here. Alright, so now that you have this, you're going to connect this thing here. So this side up and this is the side up. Then you're going to lock it. So now this is locked. Okay, so now we are ready then. Okay, so as soon as you're ready, make sure that Mr. Ahmad is already sleeping. Mr. Ahmad, Mr. Ahmad, okay, Mr. Ahmad is sleeping. And then you turn your punya. Uh, apa ni uh, defeat machine to place the book. Turn it fast. 
Don't singgah at the off lama hmm. If you singgah at the off lama hmm. Then you will off again and have to Beno mode, confirm, read to and all that stuff Okay, hmm. so don't waste time Immediately turn it to placer As soon as you turn to placer You will see a difference here Again, okay, eh, patah balik sini Okay, when you was like that You don't see the word paste here mm -hmm. So when I turn it quickly to placer mode Immediately you see the word paste there And then they ask you to set the paste Okay, right. So By default, most of the machines will go into apa ni uh, Synchronized mode Or center now Demand mode Okay So it's either demand mode Or fixed mode Okay So by default Most machines will go Into demand mode The current machines All go to demand mode How was the difference As you can see here Async pacing on off Okay So if I press here They will say Asynchronized space We don't want Asynchronized space We want it to be Synchronized lah Which is basically Demand mode What does demand mode mean It will mean that The machine will calculate The patient already has 30, I want to give 70, so the machine will give an additional 40. Okay? If it's fixed mode, then the machine doesn't care. Whatever the, the patient has, it will deliver the 70 anyway. Okay? So we want it to be demand. It's physiologically friendly. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right. So we'll keep it as that. The rate, the 70 ppm. Okay? What, what rate do you want to give for the patient? Around 70. Around 70, 80. Agree? Agree? Okay. Because it's a range of 60 to 80. Mm -hmm. Some people, they are very anal about it. They say that we must give higher because the patient has low BP. Actually, there's no real high and pass low to it. Whatever, as long as you can get good perfusion. Mm -hmm. I had the number 7, so I put number 70. Some people maybe want 72 because you can divide by 4 cantik cantik, for example. Just sorry. So you can actually add on that 72 gram gram. You can divide so by 4. You like kira pulse, kan? Okay? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, alright. So anyways. Apa ni, uh, whatever, doesn't matter, okay? So, and then, uh, as long as within a, a, an acceptable range. So, and then only, so make sure that he's really under, because now it's still zero, it's, the machine is not giving up anything. So, and then you will turn this while looking at here, okay? So, you will see this number increasing and you will look at here. You see, as I turn, you can see that it's increasing now, okay? 12 milliampers and the rhythm looks the same, so I'll just turn some more. Is that a, uh, a specific number which you will get? No. Every patient is unique and every machine is also unique. Okay? So just turn until you see the changes that you want. Okay. Now we're getting electrical capture. What does electrical capture mean? Uh, yes, that's a. Uh, Open current is applied to, for the patient to get the required heartbeat. Is that the definition of electrical capture? Something followed by QRS. Uh, Something, eh? What is the number? <laughs> every spike. No, there's every no P wave here. Uh, P wave means SA node is functioning. There's mm. no SA node. Every spike is followed by QRS complex. Mm. And every QRS complex is preceded by a spike. Everyone has their own. Bapak, mama, mak, mak, bapak. Every mak, bapak, dia ada anak dia. Dia tak ada macam anak yang tanpa mak, bapak atau mak, bapak yang tak ada anak. Mm. Okay? So spike is followed by QRS. QRS is preceded by a spike. All same. Okay? Alright. So, uh, don't, don't block that thermal mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, so, apa ni, so that's what we call electrical capture. Mm -hmm. Are we happy now? Do we stop here? No. No. Why, why are you not happy? Pulpate the femoral pulse. Why do you want to pulpate the femoral pulse? To, to make sure the mechanical capture. capture. Why femoral pulse? Why not carotid pulse? Because there's uh, some uh, fasciculation. Good. Okay. Alright. <laughs> not because you got the answer the questions. Alright. Okay. So, you want to feel the femoral pulse and the reason is because the pacer, the, the pacer pads will give out the, the uh, shock mm. and usually the shock will end somewhere around the jawline, superiorly. Inferiorly is usually midway uh, on the way towards the umbilicus. With that in mind, basically this also is affecting the same muscle bulk. Mm -hmm. So even your breaker and your radial artery can also be affected. Okay, so that's why the only safest uh, uh, artery is going to be your femoral. Why not your dorsalis pedis then? Too far. Too distal. Because too it's distal. too distal. Okay, so if anyone want to ask you why the femoral pulse, the answer is going to be because it's the most centrally located uh, artery which is affected by the basal activities. So your first game, Okay, alright. That's why you answer quickly. Okay, so it's, it's the most centrally located pulse which is not affected by the basal activities. Okay, alright. So because of that, we will feel here. Okay, so kata lah you rasa sini and it's thirty. What do you do? Yes, you increase the output more, some more. Okay, you increase it slowly, increase it by two or by four, okay? And then you feel again, okay? Until you get rapper. 
Until you get 72 Can you get 50? Kan macam on the way Dari 30 nak naik ke 72 You get 50 first Followed by 60 Followed by 72 Can, can that happen? No Why? It's because it is either the heart captures it or the heart doesn't capture it. The heart doesn't just capture bit by bit. Because it's either you bagi makan, you bagi makan sampai ke tidak mulut tu, atau you on the way ada makan tak? Ada makan tak? Ada makan kan? Tak ada kan? Tak ada kan? Tak ada kan? Okay, okay. Inilah yang just spell je, tapi tak ada makan. Okay, so it's the same thing like how you actually give your opinion, let's put it. Okay, so it's on the way you do get it. If for example you feel and it's actually really fifty, then maybe you can actually stop this. Because maybe whatever it is yang happened just now, maybe patient had six sinus syndrome ke apa-apa Actually the heart rate has returned back to its original one which is maybe 50 or 60 Okay? So if ever you feel macam, eh, ni macam bukannya 30 But it's not 72 either Okay, so maybe you just have to off this and see whether the heart rate, the patient's original heart rate has returned back Okay? But otherwise it should be either 30, original one, or the machine one, the patient's 72 Alright? So katalah you are now at 80 and you can feel the femoral pulse at 72 Okay now? Are you happy? Yes. Can we go on with our lives? No. Assess the disease Okay, you need to assess first But before that, you just increase a bit more Just oh. one more point And that is what we call safety margin oh. Okay, so you increase that And the reason why is because this patient is not totally like that mm -hmm. Sometimes you have the patient turning When the patient turns, for example, there's a bit of a distance between your heart and the basal pad So you may require a bit more electrical therapy for it to actually capture the 72 beats for me. Okay, so that's the safety margin Okay, alright So that's for your basal activity Okay, so obviously after that you will reassess lah Can check the patient's blood pressure again Okay, do maybe a trophy ECG and see whatever that you can do Rephrase the blood results so that you can actually correct them Okay, alright So, apa ni, if in your exams I'm not talking about your particular exam but for my undergrad exams Okay, so in your exams, you just uh, uh, say that I want to uh, start the patient on uh, electrical pacer Okay, and then we'll ask you, okay, describe to us what you will do So you just go here to the machine and they say, okay uh, first thing says, I'll take one step on the patient Mr. Ahmad, we're going to give you some uh, apa ni, uh, Specialized energy It's going to cost free, but we'll give you some sedation and painkiller Mr. Ahmad will say yes, okay, can you please give Mirazolam 2 mg and fentanyl 100 micrograms Okay, once he is under I will turn this to the pacer mode So don't actually turn it, just say I will turn to pacer mode I'll make sure it's in demand mode I'll set my rate at 70 beats per minute Okay, and then I will increase my, sorry, I will set my rate here and I will increase my output until I get electrical capture so I will ask you what is electrical capture, you can just tell me lah electrical capture means every spark is followed by grass complex and every grass complex is preceded by a spike okay, once I get electrical capture at 72 bits per minute I will feel the thermal pulse for mechanical capture once I get mechanical capture at 72 bits per minute I will increase one more point for safety margin okay and then that's when your scenario will unfold into a different scenario which usually means that the patient has undergone arrest Okay, so but that's how typically how your uh up any ready arrhythmias would happen. Any questions from you guys? Um the safety margin we can go up to how much? Technically speaking, we want to uh, cause as least damage as possible. So just go one more part for whatever the machine can give you. So some machines deliver two two, two milliampere, some five, some ten, it depends on the machine. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, just a, a little bit, not too much. Okay? And for mechanical capture, do we really uh, calculate the pulse until 70 macam tu? That's why, if you're 72, senang lah kan? Mm. But in fact, you're what, over 15 seconds. <laughs> That's what I, I mean see. by that. So not exactly one minute lah? Not really one minute. Uh, generally, uh, more or less represented. Right, it should be one minute lah because, if, because in all the ACRA cases, sometimes can be everything at the different lah. I mean the, parent we shouldn't come down times 4 mm -hmm. for to measure a real You should be able to because you're talking about regular rhythms. If you're talking about something, unless you feel and you can feel that it's actually irregular, mm. then there is something wrong then. Mm. So you may want to assess it further. Okay. But most of the time, generally any rhythm as long as it's regular, you don't have to do it over one minute. You can definitely do it over 15 seconds or 30 seconds, up to you, whatever is comfortable. Okay. Okay? Any other questions? What if the is fat? You cannot feel it. Um, is that really you can catch them? Okay. Of all the pulses, it's a bit weird for you to know Because even if you have like a flabby tummy, you can just lift it up and yeah. You guys like to poke femoral arteries yeah, anyway yeah. <laughs> 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 Is that anything I can be like Is pulse asymmetry reliable? Because all the, 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 the
very yep. very yep. Yep. Mm. Not so it will all be affected yeah. yes it will be but generally you will see a, a general improvement if it really worked Okay, uh, so whatever it is, of course, there's not only one tool for you to assess, there's multiple other tools as well. Mm -hmm. The biopharmacy will definitely be way better if there's good perfusion there. There must be some uh, decent perfusion for you to be able to stand down and do other things. Although, although your blood pressure, although you can actually feel the femoral pulse, but say for, your, for example, your blood pressure is still shitty, like still hanging around 80 40, then you may need to do other things as well. So, yeah, so it depends on the assessment. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. So that's that's basically it. So